Hello, my near and dear darlings. Welcome or welcome back to another reading. I am Pastel Tarot. So we're going to find out how they truly, truly feel about you. These I did not really look at at all. So I'm going to be just as surprised as you are during this reading, just to let you know. So their truest feelings to whomever might be on your mind, whomever is alive you're looking into, whatever. So I want you to go ahead and pick a pile that resonates with you. Pick a ghost on the screen, a cute little ghost that is in love. And I will see you at your reading. Bye. Hello, my near and dear darlings. Hello, pile number one. So if you chose this ghost right here, this is the reading that is meant for you. I'm going to take a sip of coffee before we get started because I really don't know what's going to come out. Okay, me, whenever it comes to these readings, I'm always hoping for the best all the time. I'm always like, I hope this is really positive and we'll see. So anyways, we have right here, everything is temporary with the tattoo and the gloves. So maybe something is not so temporary. Maybe you, maybe you got matching tattoos with this person or thought about it. And then we have springtime renewal right here. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna set these, but these are little, so I'm gonna put them in the middle. And then right here we have candle magic. So I just wanna put these right here first to kinda like understand the rest of this because we're getting into the love messages. These are super cute. They're all so new. I got them at a little metaphysical shop event and really nice, really cute. So, oh, okay. Yes, we're starting out good. Thank goodness. So it says, you're my soulmate. It must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. Cute. Love it. Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be a split message. I like, I like it whenever stuff like this comes out. So we have, I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset. There you go. That has not served me and hindered my growth. Okay. And then we have, we need to let each other go. Okay, that's definitely on topic with this one. And then right here we have, I'm not the same person. Okay. So let's see, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Take a minute, take a pause, take it in. What do you feel it is, you know? So with the everything is temporary card, I'm really feeling that there is a temporary pause right now. There is a temporary pause in the relationship. There, there is no movement, ghost. Ghosting, that cute little ghost. <laughs> and then we have candle magic and springtime renewal. So I have a feeling that there is a time that is needed to heal right now. Whether you like it or not, whether you want it or not, whether it's desirable to you or not, there is healing that needs to be done. And healing sucks, it's not fun. But the fact that they're saying that they're ready to leave a situation or a mindset, what that is telling me is that, and also I'm not the same person, is that maybe this relationship has kind of overgrown itself. If you have been with this person for a long time, like whenever you're younger till now, if they're, if y'all are not currently talking right now or like on bad terms, I feel like you want to know their truest feelings. That's what you're here for, right? Well, their truest feeling is, is that they're changed as a person. They feel that like they have shifted. Maybe their desires are something else. Their wishes are something else. And I hate to say it, but I think it's that kind of like taking the time to respect that. And if they go inwards and heal with this candle magic, there could be a renewal because it says springtime renewal right here. Give them some space, give them some time. Respect the fact that, that they need some time. I feel like, how do I say it? Do not beg. 
That's all that I gotta say. Look, hello, Pastel Tarot, bestie, best friend. Love you. Love you, sis. Love you, brother. Well, whoever you are. Love ya. Don't beg. Because I have a feeling you need to do a one-two punch combo. Not literally, but figuratively. Because they think that y'all are meant to be together. Y'all connect so well. Y'all light up each other's worlds with that candle magic. Don't beg because they'll, they will be back. You know what I mean? They need to clear their mind of whatever this is. There's something that needs to be cleared. Something that needs to be cleared in their mind. Because we need to let each other go. I'm not the same person. And for those who want this person back, they might come back, but you might realize by taking that, that time, that rest, that pause, you'll realize, okay, maybe they're, he's right, she's right, they are right. This isn't working. By stepping back, I've opened my eyes to something that I didn't know that I needed to, and that is respecting that we were soulmates for a time, we connected, for a time, we loved each other for a time, it was beautiful. Why not end it on the best chapter ever? You know what I mean? End it on a really happy note and not make it all negative. I know that that's something that you don't wanna hear, but rather you end it that way than in flames and hurt and pain. If they come up to you and, and, and they're saying, I'm thinking about leaving, make it easy for them, say it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I love you, you love me for a moment in time. And because I love you, because you love me, and because you feel this need to change or shift or whatever that may be, I respect it because I do love you. That's always the m most mature thing to do as much as it hurts. It's the best thing that you can do, you know? I'm gonna take a sip real quick. Gosh, that's heavy, but I know my real ones. Look, I know my real people. I care about y'all. I love y'all. I know y'all real ones right now. If you're crying, if you're sad, if your heart hurts right now, I feel for you. And you have the huevos, you have the nuts, man. You have it together right now to even stick around and hear this reading. And if you're saying, you know what, yeah, Pastel Tara is right. My friend is right. The person who cares about me that doesn't even know me is right. You're going to have good karma tenfold. I'm not saying, oh, it's because you like me. I'm saying it's because you took the time to realize something, let it in, and exhale it out, and say, you know what? This person is right and I need this clarity and this knowledge right now. It'll give you so much time to heal. I'm gonna pull another oracle because I feel like there's just more to this. So, sippy sippy and I'll be back with some oracle. Okay, pull number one. Ooh, two came out, perfect. I knew, I knew that there was more. I mean, I would have appreciated it <laughs> if it didn't came out like that. So then everything still looks nice. Okay, so we have gratitude. Okay, I love this. I love this. I told you. If this person come up, comes up to you and says this, because who knows, like, this may not be your reading and you're worrying over nothing. I, I gotta reassure some people, because sometimes people be getting in their heads and then they're manifesting something that's not true. That's all that I gotta say. But for those who it is, I feel for you. But anyways, we have gratitude with receiving blessing Thanks and giving. Like I said, be grateful. You had a great relationship for a time, you know? Take that in and like really hold, hold that. Hold that to your chest. Hold that to your chest. Be grateful, you know? And whenever it's time to let go, it's time to let go and it freaking sucks, you know? That's not fun. I'm not telling you that it's fun. I'm telling you that it sucks. I know. I have feelings too. It sucks and it hurts and it's scary. And all I gotta say is that whatever you like, don't don't rush healing. Do not rush healing. I'm preaching right now, but I'm coming at the angle of like, if I could tell myself 
through all my pain and suffering, I'd say one, I wouldn't rush healing. I highly suggest that. Don't rush healing. If you're right now crying, you're hurt, you're in pain, do not rush your healing. Feel that stuff. Feel that stuff for two or three years if you need to. I'm not saying that you will, but I'm saying if it takes that long because it's your life. You're, only you know your life. If, it, if it's taking you that long, let it take that long. Do not rush healing. Whenever you think you're ready, you're not ready. Take a little longer. You know what I mean? But anyways, we have 14 with threshold. Perception, surrender, dissolve, illusion. There you go. Surrender. Surrender to the idea. Let go. Let universe handle it. Universe will take care of you whenever you learn how to let go of something. Dissolve. So then there's not fighting arguments or whatever in the middle of somebody saying this. To dissolve the situation, I'm telling you, just let it be. Because that means that you're your perfect person, you're a better person, you're, you're one, you know what I mean? Your next soulmate that's going to come into your life. Whenever you're mature and you learn how to dissolve a situation and kind of like let things be. And then with the illusion, I'm hearing like don't, don't wallow in pain. I get grieving by letting somebody go. It's still grieving. It, it, somebody, somebody doesn't have to die to grieve. I hope you know that. Like you have to grieve the relationship and who you were with that person at that time too. Oh, that's funny. We have the tower, a change for the better or for worse. The tower doesn't matter. It just means that life is going to be shaken up. Things are going to be shaken up whether you like it or not. You know, I, I split the deck and we have the nine of wands too. You have been fighting for this relationship, for this person to stay, or they have fought for you to stay. And both of y'all are kind of like, if it doesn't work out at this last stretch, we're done. And I think that that's where that acceptance comes from. Especially with the tattoo thing, I think you thought that this wasn't going to be temporary, but it was. Yeah, look, we have three of swords as I shuffle, and then we have the nine of wands again. Not nine of wands again. It's going to hurt. It's going to be okay. Like, I, I, this might sound weird, but I really think that this card is beautiful with the swan and the heart up right here and everything is just kind of gone, you know? You could tell that this swan is in suffering. You could tell. And if this is you, I, I feel for you, but it's like, you're beautiful either way. You're still a beautiful soul. You got to realize that. Okay. Ooh. The moon. Again, beware of delusion. Don't be, look, there's somebody watching this right now. Don't be delusional that this person, for some of y'all, this isn't everybody. So if it doesn't resonate with you, do not take it before I say this. Don't be delusional that this person's going to swing back and everything's going to be fine and everything's going to be happy. Y'all are going to wake up and act like nothing's ever happened and then you have rebound, you know what. You know what I mean? Don't have rebound S-E-X. Don't be sleeping with people thinking that they're going to come back. Don't be doing none of that. Don't, mm -mm. don't, don't spread your legs or whip out your, you know, and think that this person's going to stay. No. No. And then we have the high priestess. There we go. Heal. Go inwards. Use your intuition. The moon and the high priestess is actually very powerful. This is the ultimate feminine energy. You know what I mean? Use your intuition. You know what to do. I trust you. You know exactly what to do. Don't react with rage and with hurt. React with grace and femininity and say, I'm a woman. I am feminine or whatever. And be like, Goodbye, sayonara, see you later. And then we have that owl right here at the bottom, and the owl represents wisdom. The owl is up at night, you know what I mean? It's, it represents wisdom. You know, your inner knowing, you know what to do. Your inner guidance, you know what to do. We have the four of cups right here. The four of cups is ignoring something. Don't ignore the need to heal. Don't ignore your own feelings. Don't, don't do this either. Don't sit there, cry, and be like, I'm still a bad bee. I'm still a baddie. I'm still hot. Like, let's go out into the club. No. Sit with your feelings. 
sit with your feelings. Accept how you feel. The quicker that you accept how you feel, the easier things will get. Queen of Wands, are you a fire sign? Sun, moon, or rising? Fire sign? Queen of Wands. You're still hot. <laughs> it's still saying that. Yes, you are a baddie still. Yes, you're still hot. But your bad self, your hot self, your fiery self needs to go sit down and take a nap and like chill. King of Swords, was the person, your counterpart, uh, an air sign? Were they an air sign? Fire and air? Did y'all argue a lot? Push each other, you know? Or did they finally blow out your spark, blow out your magic? You know what I mean? My candle just made the weirdest noise. <laughs> it's okay. And the four of wands, commitment. Commit to yourself. I care about you. And I want you to commit to yourself. Commit to yourself. Commit to the beauty that you are and the beauty that you know that you are capable of being because you are. You are beautiful, you are great, you are magnificent, you are, you are great. Know that you are power, you know? You are a powerful being. But powerful beings can be hurt, we have emotions, we have feelings. But we can also heal, respectfully so. I'm just saying. This is such a heavy reading to start out. If you picked pile number one and you made it till the end, just like leave a little heartbreak emoji or like the little heart with the bandaid over it. Like if you understand if this resonated, um, I would like to know. S subliminally, I would like to know. Cause like, don't put yourself out there because it'll be our thing, you know? If you know, you know. Anyways. This is the end of your reading pile number one. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you resonate with this reading and my energy, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Hello, my near dear, my near and dear darlings. Oh, I overthought that. <coughs> Hello, pile number two. <laughs> um, nice to meet you, pile number two. I am Pastel Taro here, and I'm already messing up. Welcome. So we're gonna find out their truest feelings for you. I did not look at the cards ahead of time, so I will be as shocked as you. I am not going to start out with these. I did that with pawn number one and I got a little bit confused. So these will be for later. Let's start out with this. <laughs> okay, so it says, let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. This could go so many ways. <laughs> Great way to start out, pile number two. Let's see what else. It says, will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? So what this is telling me is that this is some X energy. Are you spying on your ex? Are you spying on your ex? Are you spying on a past lover? Or somebody that you treated wrong? Somebody, somebody that treated you wrong? Either way, vice versa. And saying... This person is saying, will you forgive me? You know, will you listen to me? Will you let the past go? Can we start over right away? It says, I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart to love again. There, there's a conversation within this message. You know, I think that this is, this is them thinking how it might go. It says, I'm trying to be someone you can trust. That actually goes hand in hand. That's a little scary says, I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart to love again. I'm trying to be someone you can trust. So this is you and their energy coming in. You have a lot of trust issues from your past, your past relationships. Or this person. I feel like this swings both ways. Both way. Dude, I have trust issues too. And so does my current significant other. So maybe it's a little bit of projection. It's because I feel like everybody has a little bit of trust issues after they've been treated like trash in a relationship. If you're spying on your ex, I feel like they're just trying to grow up. You know what I mean? They're trying to fix themselves and be on their own self journey. Are they going to talk to y'all? Will you have a conversation? Will you get closure? Closure, I'm gonna say no. Cause they may try to like dance with no pants on all over again, but 
Do they realize what they've done? Yes. Will they grow from that? Yes. Will y'all come back together and like have a relationship? I don't know, to be honest. I can't tell you yes or no. It's you, you decide your own fate. So we have anything is possible right here. I really like this card because it's saying if you're trying to manifest talking to them again, trying to understand what's going on. I feel like that y'all are a little bit like me. I like to understand why people leave, why people go, why something went this way and dig deeper so then I can heal. And then we have enjoy the ride right here, but it came out in reverse. I kind of wanted to take this in reverse because I think it's mainly confirmation that your relationship was not the happiest. It was not rainbows and lollipops, man. Like, it was not perfect. No relationship is perfect. But I chose to flip it upside up is because it's saying, enjoy the journey of life right now. Let the past go. Don't circle back. You know what I mean? Close cycles. Close cycles. And it says, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. And it spirals all the way in, saying the same thing. So I think it's saying like, what you put in is what you get out. Are you, is that, has that been your life? Has that been your life? You've been put, you, you messed up in a relationship, your next relationship, they mess up and they screw you over. You know what I mean? And then now you have trust issues. And I, I'm hearing like, oh, but that's the past. That's from like a long time ago. You still did the action. This person still did the action. If this person treated you like shit and they want to come back, do you really want to manifest something like that again? Do you really want to manifest something like that again? You want to start all over? With somebody that treated you like poo-poo? No? Okay, good. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't want to hear none of that, but they changed, they changed. But a relationship, how do I say this? Relationships can change to the for the better, heck yeah. But the thing is that like, if they are immature, if they keep doing the same things all over again, da 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 da, don't, don't enable that. Say, nope, I'm above that, I deserve better. Because whenever you say that you deserve better, what goes around comes around. I deserve better, I am beauty, I am hot, I, I desire to be treated like this and I do not expect less. Don't ask for the whole world, but I'm saying like, come on, put your standards a little, a little up there if people be messing around and you shall get it back. You know what I mean? I'm gonna pull some more Oracle for you. So let me just pull something out. Maybe there's a message for you within these Oracle cards. So we have curiosity, experience, play, uncover, and ask. I was kind of getting that. There's like, have you already gone through the heartbreak? Have you already let this person go and you're just kind of like thinking because of this person in the past, will I find somebody better in the future? I feel like it's kind of a mixture of that, of somebody wanting to come back into your life and you're wondering about that or you already kind of thinking about moving on and you're thinking, okay, how is this person's energy affecting me? Or, I don't know, something like that. Ooh, temple, interesting. So we have temple, inner being, visualization, and scared space. I think it's telling you to take care of yourself. Clean your house, take care of yourself, go get your nails done, get your hair done. Go do you first, you know what I mean? Do you, do you. I'm, I'm talking to you like I would talk to my own sister or my own best friend or somebody that I care about. You know what I mean? Because I care about you. The Knight of Swords. I think once you let go of the past and listen to yourself and then learn to enjoy life again, Things will happen and come into your life so quickly. If you keep focusing on that hurt, that pain, your ex, whatever, it's gonna it's gonna create a blockage. 
you're in a cycle of hurt and pain and it's saying go to your temple go home or you know what i mean go talk to yourself sit sit by the water take a bubble bath i don't know go focus on you go care about yourself right now six of wands um I know that we're seeing their truest feelings, but I feel like you are coming out into this reading for a reason. But also, all I gotta say is that if you're wondering what your ex is coming up with, because to me, this is ex energy. I'm kind of getting that vibe. Or like your person is somebody from the past and you're wondering, ooh, do they do they still like me? Um, okay. Well, if it's somebody from the past that you've never dated, I would say yes. They wanna take you out before I like just make this whole thing negative. They do want, they do have their eye on you. They do want to, they, they do want to take you out. And if it's a past person that you've never dated, never touched, never kissed, maybe shared a little peck or something, but that's about it. That person does like you, yes. Yes, they do. Do they want to come towards you? Yes. They want to be seen out with you. I will tell you that for sure. But that person is kind of going through it from their past relationship. They were hurt by their past person, if you're wondering that, as like a side message. Because the Six of Wands is being seen, being heard, being seen, getting rewarded for their efforts, you know? And the Knight of Swords is like quick movement, charging towards something saying, you know what, this is what I want and I want it now. So I am going to go towards it. Oh, this is so pretty. I've never pulled, I've never pulled this. So we have the four swords and the, oh, sorry. I gotta look at this with you. So I'm gonna put it right here, but my, uh, my lips are very close to the mic because I gotta look at this too. Interesting. So the Four of Swords, think of it as like a dormant aspect. There's no movement, there's silence. Nobody has made a move yet. If this is your ex, if this is somebody that you want back, are they coming back? Possibly not. They're too, they're too focused busting it up in the club or whatever, posting on social media. You know what I mean? They're too busy in their own life and being seen and being heard in their own life if this is energy that has moved on. And you're just curious. I feel like you're just checking in and seeing they're doing good. If you have good intentions with this person, they're doing good. And if you have bad intentions and you wish bad on them, they're still doing good. What goes around comes about around, you know what I mean? But, um, and if this is somebody that you've never been with, never talked to from the past, like, you, you know, I'm getting that they don't, how do I say it? They do want to talk to you, but I think that they think that it's better off being silent. You know, they kind of argue in their mind about talking to you. The Ten of Cups, they do have feelings for you, but they're not sure if they really want to, like, hit you up. You know what I mean? Because I'm getting multiple energies with this. I'm just bouncing around because I'm, I'm seeing multiple people with multiple intentions with this reading. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, how do you like this person? You want this person. You think that they're desirable, but yet you don't want to talk to them. Why? You know? Page of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Okay, but they're going to make an offer. Um, The Four of Swords, man, that's such stagnant energy. Let's see why. Why the Four of Swords? What's... The Seven of Cups. Illusion, delusion. How do I say it? Let's say that they have... The Seven of Cups is like having multiple options. Maybe the Four of Swords is... Do you hear the geese? <laughs> Sorry. Um, the Seven of Cups is multiple options, delusion, you know, you, you see a nice and gold cup and then you're like, oh, okay, this has to be good. And then it's poison. And then you're like, crap. So maybe it's because they have been dating and getting out there recently, but they're not sure if they should try with you because they don't know if you're going to be like a good or a bad option for those people. 
you know. That's funny, there's fish on this too, which represents like water kind of energy. I guess that's foreshadowing. But yeah, no, this, this person is not sure that's what it is. Or they're too busy testing out other options before they finally come to you and you're wondering, oh, why are they ghost mode? Why aren't they talking? Why aren't they doing this? And it's like, they'll make it around town to you eventually. They will. Um, there's so many people in this reading. Pile number two, I feel like this is going to be my most picked pile and I'm trying to get everybody's message in here. But what I'm getting too from this is like, I'm getting somebody who can rekindle something with their ex, somebody who can't. So it's like a 50-50 thing. And then somebody who's just like, my childhood friend, do they still love me? Do they have a crush on me or something? And it's all like, they do. But all of this energy is stagnant right now. Like there's no movement. I think it's because it's telling you to go inwards and kind of work on yourself a little bit first. But the with the anything is possible, it's saying like, what you manifest is manifesting you. So if you're a little bit shy to talk, they're gonna be a little bit shy to talk. And I'm not saying DM them either. I'm just saying like, try to think, okay, they're gonna talk to me. They're gonna talk to me. They're gonna talk to me. I'm gonna get some clarity. You know what I mean? Is that the message? Is that, is that what they're saying? Is that, is that it? Let me see. The full, a new beginning, yes. Okay, that would be a yes. That would be a yes, okay. Yeah, have a new beginning with yourself and then like a lot more love will come in or it could be universe saying, hey, don't focus on that. Fo focus on the new, focus on the new energy because the, the ace of cups is like new emotion, brand new, a new start. So that's a possibility, you know, because I, I like, okay, um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell a little bit about myself here. Um, I did have an ex that I was still into from the past. Oh gosh, this was like a while ago. And we broke up in high school. And then towards the end of the year of high school, so right before I was about to graduate, we went about two years without talking to each other. No talking, complete four swords, energy stagnant, no nothing. And then, bing! I get a DM, but the thing is, is that I was thinking about him, like, is he doing good? I hope he's doing good, is he okay? And then, long story short, we end up getting together, we move in for the first time, and like, happy-go-lucky, am I still with this person? No. Do I wish them the best? Fuck yeah. Oh, sorry. Heck yeah. But, um, it's kind of like that. I feel like... I feel like I'm getting that kind of energy. If you haven't talked to this person in a couple of years, you can possibly, possibly reconcile. That's what I'm getting. Okay, conclusion made up. <laughs> I think, I think I solved it. But anyways, this is the end of your reading pile number two. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you resonate with me and my energy in this reading. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, my near and dear darlings. Welcome or welcome back. So if you chose this ghost right here, pile number three, hopefully there's a message in here for you. If not, you can always pick another pile. But anyways, let's see their thoughts, the situation, what's going on, some advice, all the details. So anyways, I'm going to do these last because I learned from pile number one that we need to do this last. All right, we have you're mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. So are you currently talking to somebody or somebody has their eye on you? So it says playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding or posting, uh, they're doing it to get your attention. Somebody's trying to get your attention. Somebody has a crush on you. Pile number three. Anyways, it says, I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Who are you talking to? Is this about to be like a love story unfolding? I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like craving this kind of energy. Please, please. It says, other people were interfering and trying to control me. Oh, okay, so... 
was everything going well in the beginning? Everything was all spicy and cute and steamy in the beginning and all of a sudden they went ghost. So you're like, let's go check in on Pastel Taro and let's see what she has to say. It says thrift shop magic. I, I think that this is so funny whenever I was looking at this because like thrift shop magic is like, how do I say it? This is like X energy, starting all over energy or like finding somebody from the past and you're like, oh, I totally overlooked you. You're kind of hot. Like that's what energy I'm getting. And then we have dandelion. So I feel like there's somebody from your past that has an eye on you. Somebody that's seeing you is like hot now. Maybe you glue, like you, you glue up, you grew up. You look hot now, you know, in their eyes and they're low-key falling for you. Or it's like friends and the lovers and you know what I mean? You know, I'm kind of getting that with dandelion. Or um, I'm getting the ice age, you know, the last melon, like that, that kind of thing. And then they have the dandelion and then they're trying to preserve it. So maybe they see it as like a precious gem that they're trying to like take care of and strategically go and talk to somebody from your past that has an eye on you and is like low-key falling for you if you've been making friends with this person from the past or they're trying to find a way to talk to you so we have projections i really like this because what i'm saying is your feelings can come out in this reading your feelings of oh like, I low-key feel this way about this person, and it's all like, oh, they feel the same way, you know? Oh, okay. I knew that this was going to come out. I split the deck, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is, like, um, friendship, coming together, communication, um, celebration. Are you falling in love with your friend? Are you falling in love with somebody that you didn't think that you would fall in love with? You know, I'm getting that kind of energy. It's an unexpected kind of love. I'm also getting that with projections. Somebody probably projected their ideals of who you should date, how you should date. And they're saying this person isn't that, this person isn't this, but it's because it's their feelings towards what they want. And it's all like, it's not your life, it's my life. Thank you very much. Like, you know. Let me pull some more Oracle. I skipped too soon into the tarot, but let's see what else. I'm just seeing this very friendly energy, like not enemies into lovers, but like friends into lovers. Um, you're finding love where you never expected to find love. I just whistled through my teeth, my apologies. I want to know why the projection card is there. I'm probably going to use tarot to ask, but let's, I knew that card. Remembrance, remembering love, loss, and healing. Somebody remembers you, man. I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say this. They like your um, upper half because she's wearing a corset. You may wear corsets. You may have a little bit of like an alternative kind of vibe or you just like corsets or a very cinched waist. They like your waist and your upper half. Um, remembrance though, I'm telling you, so you might be fall like you, ooh, you might be falling in love with somebody from the past. Ooh. Okay. Three want to come out. Adventure. That's what vibe I am getting. Somebody that you get along with from the past, oh, from the past, somebody that is like, you are into them. Laughter, spontaneous nature, renewal. Remembering, healing, renewal. Somebody's gonna circle back. Joy, this person made you laugh in the past. Is this an ex? Is this an ex? What is this? Who is this? I'm curious myself, who is this? Affirmation, surrounding light and beauty. They think that you're beautiful. You bring this person a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. You might have hazel eyes, because with the yellow, yellow, you may like enjoy wearing yellow. That might be your favorite color or their favorite color. They may have ha the hazel eyes, I don't know. 
Then we have manifest. Dreams, journal, moon, sleep. I was about to say sheep for some reason. Mmm. Mmm. I'm seeing the scissors right there, like around her neck. And then like a little satchel stuff going. Are you crafty? Are you are you a crafty person? You like to make things? Do you have a black cat? Black cat with the bell and red collar. I'm saying I'm hearing red collar. I don't know what that means. Maybe you travel a lot. There's maybe there's traveling happening. I don't know. This person likes you. I don't know who the heck you're thinking about. I don't know if this is past, present, circling back. I don't know. But like you're manifesting this person. That's all that I gotta say. That you are definitely manifesting this person. Because I'm seeing like a circle. Well, the moon, the moon, the sun, this right here, the water flow in a circle. So maybe you're circling back to this person. Or like this person finally makes you happy and makes you feel complete. Okay. Uh, oh my god wait i just realized that i just <laughs> i pulled it out like oh yeah whatever duh the wheel of fortune another circle i'm telling you what goes around comes around but i'm just saying like maybe you're finally ready to meet this person whoever this is and the fact that it's upright up that this is something that's growing something that you have been dreaming of who have you been dreaming of who have you been wanting is because they're they're a coming they are on their way. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have the Empress. I'm telling you, uh, the, sorry. The Empress is interpreted, like I say in every single reading, whenever the Empress comes out, she is interpreted as pregnant. But the thing is, how I interpret it is that there is a bun in an oven. There is a manifestation in the oven. Do not rush it. Somebody's coming. Somebody has their eye on you. They're like, I'm playing games. I'm acting like I don't want you, but I freaking want you. I'm acting like, oh, I don't know anything about you, but I'm low-key falling in love with you from afar. Thrift shop magic, though, is like, maybe I want to take you out. You're a crafty girl. You're adventurous. Let's go thrifting together, literally. Or... This is somebody from the past that's like, look, we were friends in the past. Can we just not be friends and can we be lovers? Or I'm getting confession type energy or like friendship into loving each other energy. Okay, I'm loving it. I am eating this up. Who is this? Tell me your life. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Pile number three, you have me weak at the knees for this. I have a feeling something is going to unfold. You know, something is going to unfold. You're manifesting it too. If you made it this far, you should definitely leave like a little, oh my nail. There's like gunk on it or something. Anyways, you should leave a little butterfly emoji or like a little flower emoji if you claim it, this unfolding of like a romantic kind of energy. If you're resonating, leave a little butterfly or a little flower or something just to let me know. Keep it between me and you, secret secrets. We have the world. Okay, this thing, I've seen it already. I was, uh, before I even shuffled, it came out, but like not completely. And then it fell out onto the floor while everything else fell. And um, the world, I'm t you are manifesting it. The world, you're about to be so happy with this person. Look again, a full moon, a circle. Maybe you might meet this person on a full moon, on a full moon, on like, oh. Why can't I get it together today? I'm just so into this reading. On a full moon, you might manifest this person. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what the projection was, is that it's like on a full moon. You may have black hair or brown hair, or you may be a little bit older, so you may have like um, black and white hair, like black and gray hair, or maybe the split kind of hair, like you have a little bit touch of blonde in there with the, with the black hair. That's what I'm seeing too. 
oh, I just realized with Empress 2, the sun again. Like, it's... Oh, you're about to be so happy. I know that we're saying, like, who who has our eye on you? What are their truest feelings? They like you and they want you. Should I say anything else? Like, I'm just saying that you're gonna be happy. This person wants you. They wanna be with you. Um, They might be a Gemini with the two cats right there. Gem oh, Gemini energy, another cat too. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so it may not happen as quickly as you think. But, like, the Queen of Wands is spicy energy, too. Spicy energy. They think that you're on fire. I'm just telling you, like, this person really likes you. They want to take you out. They want to be with you. Whoever you have your eye on or whoever has their eye on you, like... Especially with all the full moons... I think that they're trying to manifest you. The person that is on your mind, they're trying to manifest you. Or at least manifest how easy this is going to go. Something, I don't know. This person wants you. Like they, they, they really want to take you out on dates. Like they feel like there's so much growth to happen between the both of y'all. They want you, they want you. They want to be with you. But I keep seeing that thrift shop magic. Is this a past person? Is this a past person? Or is this somebody like, I don't know what the, maybe you like thrifting and this is just confirmation. Like you, you like clothing, you like fashion, you like style. Maybe you like to actually sew, knit, crochet, um, something like that. I don't know. But how this person feels, they want to wine and dine you. They, they want you and they're going to have you. You know what I mean? I think I'm just gonna leave it at that because like they want you and you're gonna be happy anyways <laughs> all right this is the end of your reading pile number three I really hope that you enjoyed I blah, blah, blah. I really hope that you enjoyed it I really hope that you enjoyed this reading don't forget to subscribe if you resonate with my energy and I'll see you next time bye